Check it. What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back here for some more stick and twist and today we're doing it on Gran Turismo 6. I thought I'd mix it up a bit, you know, we've been doing Forza a lot so why not go ahead and switch it up with a bit of Gran Turismo. So today, uh, obviously stick and twist, it's going to act a bit differently on Gran Turismo. We're going to do one spin um, for the continent, so that's Europe, Asia or North America and whatever, it, wh whatever I land on I have to go with. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do a manufacturer spin uh, like usual and then obviously we'll do a model spin once we have the manufacturer afterwards and that's basically how it's going to work and the only difference is that instead of you know obviously just doing the manufacturing straight ahead we're going to go ahead and do like the continent spin first if that makes sense um it will all make sense once i go ahead and do it it's really not that complicated to understand but anyway i've got my random number generator up on my right so i'm going to go ahead and generate a random number so we can decide what continent we're going to go ahead and use so we got number one, so that is Europe. So that means the selection of cars that we have will be from Europe. Now this is actually handy because I actually counted how many cars were in this Europe section beforehand and it's 41, there's 41 manufacturers in this section. So we're going to go ahead, generate the first number. Remember if we get three tries to try get a manufacturer of our choice uh, and if I land on the third one I have to stick with the third one. That is the rule obviously of the series. So we're going to go ahead and generate the first random number and we got three which is Alfa Romeo. So I'm going to look inside Alfa Romeo just to see what cars they have. So really, this could be a very, like, varied thing, you know. We can get anything from, like, a fucking 8C to a fucking, like, 147Ti twin spark. So that could be quite interesting, but I'm going to twist. I don't think Alfa is a good choice, especially when you've got Lamborghini, you've got BMW, you've got Ferrari, I think. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and generate the second number, and the number we got was 11. 11. So 11 is Citroen. Okay, so again, we'll look inside. Citroen is a bit of a boring company, to be honest. You know, obviously, they've got some of these high-end cars, which are insane. But for the majority, that isn't going to be a good episode. So like. we're going to go ahead and twist one more time. Remember, whatever this lands on now, I have to go with. So we're going to go ahead and generate a random number, and we got number 29. Okay, so this time we landed on Mercedes, and that is actually a really good choice. Mercedes do make good cars. Unless we end up with the old A-Class, I don't think I'm going to, like, regret my choice. They've got a pretty good selection of cars. A very broad selection of cars, too. So I'm going to count up how many cars they have across their whole range in Gran Turismo 6. I'm going to work it out, and I'll be back so we can go ahead and generate a random number and decide what actual car we're going to use. Okay, so Mercedes have 24 cars in Gran Turismo. So we're going to go ahead and generate a random number and see what we get. So we got number eight. So we got one, two, three. so we got a CL600. So honestly, I don't really want to go for this just for the basic reason that it looks like a PS2 car and the interior is simplified. So we're not going to go with the CL600. Instead, we're going to go for something else. So we're going to go ahead and generate a random number. I'm praying we can get an SLR or something. That would be amazing. So here we go. Generate a number and we've got number 13. Okay, so we've got an SL55 AMG. Now, um, a lot better of a choice. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm thinking about sticking with this because this is definitely the safe option. Um, if we went again, we could, we could get the A class or something. I don't want that. Um, so I'm tempted to stay with this. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go ahead and stick with this SL55 AMG. So we're going to go ahead, purchase it in Brilliant Silver. Ooh, look at it. Look how beautiful it looks in that silver color. That's amazing. Now, like usual in this series, we've got one more spin to do, and that is to decide what the build is going to be. So, one is a circuit build, two is a drift build, and three is a drag build. So, I'm going to go ahead, edit the number generator here, and we're going to go ahead and generate a random number to see what we get. So, we got number one, which makes this, obviously, a circuit build. So, um... I'm going to go ahead, tune it and whatnot, and I'll be back afterwards to go ahead and share what I've done. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and take this out on the track and see how it performs. Oh. It ain't enough to fuck <laughs> with my long nails. Oh, no, bitch. Okay, so before I share the car, I do want to say I had absolutely zero intention of fully upgrading it. And then, you know, as I was scrolling through the colours, I actually had like an idea of what I wanted to do with this. So I'm not sure if you guys remember the rapper, Sean Paul. Uh, you know, Sean DePaul. 
There was there was a song he made. I can't remember who it was with, but it was called Breathe. And in that video, they had this exact car in the exact color I've just made it with the exact rims. So that is what I've tried to make it. Um, I, I'll actually just pull up like a bit of the video now, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Stop acting crazy. Shut up, brother. Give it a good love in daily. Now you're trying to pull that can be acting shady. So as I was making it, I was thinking of that video. And this is what it turns out to be like, and it's literally the exact same as that Sean Paul video, like in 2002 or some shit. So that is what we're going with. I think we've done an amazing job. It's obviously in Yas Marina Blue, and I think it looks amazing. I think we've done a very good job of making it look like the car from that music video. So, so I'm the dirtiest bitch. Okay, so here we go. We are on the Norwegian track. Um, this is actually did back in like in Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. I remember it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and see how this performs. Jesus Christ! The cars that are actually in this lobby are quite interesting. I've not got traction control on either, which really isn't gonna help when you've got almost a thousand horsepower going to to the Sean Paul mo automobile. See that M3 in front of us? We've got an FD. For some reason, this car is absolutely flying past all of ev well, everyone. Even though it shouldn't be. This thing is really tail happy. I could not imagine what this would be like playing with a wheel. This would be absolutely absurd. Look at that. He just gets his back end out and starts drifting. Stop. I've got to say, this is genuinely quite a lot of fun to drive. I think overall, staying with the safe option really paid off. I can, I, I can feel the back end slip out ever so slightly. Oh my god. Doing this with a controller is easy, but doing this with a fucking wheel would be basically suicide. Like, it genuinely would be suicide. Oh my god, that jump. Keep going, handbrake. Ah, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh my god, it's still sliding. It's still going. Okay, pull the handbrake so you can get a bit more angle through there. Oh my lord, this thing is a monster. Oh, he's drifting around the Z8. Handbrake turn. Oh, look at that drift. This thing is a drift build. I didn't even mean for it to be. Oh my god. Look, it's still drifting. Fuck, no, I spun out. This is genuinely one of the best stick and twist builds I've ever made. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm on Gran Turismo and it feels different and, you know, it's a lot easier to control drifts and it's just a little, more, a little bit more fun or what it is but this is oh my god it's so much fun just to whip around the corners it's so easy to put into a slide compared to other cars but at the same time it's fucking amazing around a track I'm playing on like expert difficulty right now so I'm not playing on easy difficulty and I've absolutely romped that so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this car I've got to say um, making the car was a lot of fun it was doing something a bit different I guarantee there's not one racing YouTube out there was recreated a car from a Sean Paul music video from 2002. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and peace.